This is uh, an old folk tale. It comes from southern India. It's called The Tiger Makers. So once upon a time, there were four priests, and they traveled all over India, amassing every sort of knowledge they could. And they came back together, and they wanted to show off all the various skills and secret arts that they had learned. Uh, they met up in a forest, and one of the priests looked around and found this bone on the ground. It happened to be a tiger's thigh bone. And he said, I can complete the full skeleton of this animal. And so he did. The second priest said, yeah, well, I can give it skin, flesh, and blood. And he did so. Sitting before them was a lifelike tiger, stripes and all. Now the third priest said, oh yeah, well, you know what I can do? I can give it life. And the fourth priest, well, he, was, uh, he had a reputation for not being half as learned as the other priests. He said, no, 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 don't do that. Uh, we, be we believe you. you. You don't have to. The third priest said, what's the use of having the power to do something if I don't get to do it? Now, I've never gotten to practice this amazing skill, and I'm going to do it. I'm going to bring life to this animal. The fourth priest said, okay, if you insist, but uh, please just let me climb this tree over here first before you do. And he scampered up the nearest tree. And then the third priest, with his mantras and magic skills, he breathed life into this tiger. And there it was, a living, breathing tiger. And uh, of course, this tiger had not eaten a bite in its entire life, and it was starving. And immediately, it looked around for something to eat. What does it see but these three tasty morsels? Uh, and these three priests were so scared, they were just huddled together in terror. And immediately, the tiger pounced on them, killed them, and then at its leisure, it ate them, leaving only their bones on the forest floor. Now that fourth priest up in the tree, all he could do was watch in terror. He was completely petrified watching this carnage. And once the tiger went, you know, purring away calmly into the forest, he very sadly climbed down, collected their bones, and went home to make arrangements for their funerals. So that's the story.